Hey, hey everyone, welcome to this crazy live event here that we will I will be drawing some things live for you guys. Okay. So I'm here drawing this uh, building, it's called, uh, I don't know the name of the building actually, it's um, a project from Fr Francis Curie, right, architect from, uh, he's from Africa, and I'm creating this, so just for you to, to understand what, uh, what I'm doing here. So we have those walls. Right, this is a school, so we have three classrooms, and I will bring the windows, we'll bring the the beams, beams are here, let me just bring that. So we have the beams, and we have the, the yeah, the, the slabs, and then we have this structure, and then the roof and then the sun will go here and have this information that for example removing this this roof this this part here this 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 uh, steel structure has a huge influence to overcome this this because we are in Africa right so we have lots of some sun issues so I want to remove this this uh, sun and then we have insulation but this drawing when we start drawing things we don't really know how we will explain something so I usually try to to draw and, and make this easy to explain the ideas but what I saw is that I couldn't really describe this idea here of showing this. So the ventilation will go that direction here and will go here as well, right? So we have two ventilations and this ventilation here is hard to describe with that angle that I have drawn. So I will create another one and make that easier to understand so in one drawing in one uh, we, we're going to post that on Instagram later and with one drawing you will understand two you will see two two drawings in one in just one drawing so I will bring this section to make it easier for people to understand I think people deserves to to really understand what uh, the the project from Francis really um, really this main intention in that so this is how I I do things just me let me bring my view in that direction here I think it will be best for people to to see what I'm actually doing so I'm bringing this layers I'm using procreate and when I use Procreate, for example, I always bring those layers. So we have a group here that is, there is the person, right? We could call this person here. This is the person layer. And I'm going to uh, to, to really paint this, this layer here related to him, right? The person. And I always use three main layers what what I'm when when I'm drawing the the black what I draw the lines this is my my style is a very simple style not <laughs> fancy anything fancy about it and then I usually bring the the color that I want to paint and I use also the the shadings I usually use 40% on shadings and then I just drag to black and I like to paint that. So this is my my thing. So shading is the, the most powerful thing in architecture, in my opinion. When when you bring shadings, you will see, for example, this beauty. I can bring colors. It's not that exciting, but when I bring shadings, 
and you will see how how it will be here so this shading 40 percent it will bring something entirely different when we design those things so shading here for example and we could bring shading let me bring something like that direction here maybe i could yeah i think it's nice on that direction is not an issue and then let's bring something this way so you can see the person is up there right it's not it's not going to affect my shading so i can really draw this and add this to this part here and then when I close the the triangle I can just add this and it's easy to to get the entire idea of shading so drawings uh, start becoming more 3d like right so I can add this into this wall this is a wall as well it will be the same color as this one here so I didn't add this yet so I will now so this is something that i will bring here and usually when i draw for for ipad and add this on instagram this is the way i do things i like to to bring things as clear as possible and bring animations also so i usually create the main thing and then I create the animation that I want later. Of course, architecture is something that is not that easy to, to bring animations because architecture is something more static, right? And everyone knows about it. More static and it's hard to, to bring animations. But here I will bring the animations related to the ventilation. Ventilation is, is a very cool thing to animate it seems alive the building becomes alive when we bring these animations okay so now i need to create something that i not that i forgot but i need to add this it will be this this things here i don't like perfect i don't want that to be perfect i want that to be really imperfect and it becomes more human when you do this way. Maybe I could increase that a little bit, but that's enough just to, to bring the idea. And here I can bring the same, like the same angle as before. So this is the way Francis had uh, designed to bring natural ventilation. And here we can see now the, the main idea I will bring now some colors so I usually create this color layers uh, here on top layer 3 for example we have the layer that is in front of you so I will just bring something like this and paint this just to make that darker and like this this to stand out this part here and I like the, the simplicity of this structure I don't want to bring more information here I think it's simple as this will be nice and then I will just add now some some colors here I think it will be important to to really stress the the main structure that we have and I usually like to bring this small surfaces and then I close the gap, close the, the shape and then I paint inside. Here another, let's uh, paint that one as well. Paint this other one. Okay and paint this other one and I will paint this other one as well yep 
If you are, uh, tell me where you are from, if you are in the chat. I would love to know your opinions about it. So here we have now the main picture. Then I need to paint this parts here as well, related to the concrete, right? This, um, this is this foundation here, non-reinforced non concrete. So I want to paint that as well, a little darker to show that this is a different surface. And this is how I, I do. Okay. I wanted to bring something more 3D on that structure. Maybe I could do that later when the drawing is, is likely finished. Okay. This other one, this other one as well. I can just add this and here another. So here we have, sometimes I just, you know, I paint something around this point here. I need to describe in which layer I have done this, but I will see that later. Okay, this one here and this one and this part also I will paint in this darker color. Okay, now we have the main structure. Now I want to bring a, a brick style color. Maybe that, that color here is too dark. That color that, I, that we see here, maybe I could do something. So I will just bring that to the memory of the software. So I just painted that color there. And I will make that color a little not that dark. And then I can paint that color here with this color. Because this will be my bricks. Okay. So let's paint this as well. Okay, there's another. Hey, can you who are you, man? You are welcome. I'm creating contents for Instagram and sometimes I always like to, to do my best for everyone but sometimes I feel that I'm losing time when I'm drawing so I decided to make that live so we can talk and have good discussions here. Okay so here is uh, Francis Carey's work right I'm just describing the how powerful are his ideas related to Africa's, Africa's climate? And here we can see, right, what we are. I'm just making a drawing and, and painting the, the main idea here. And then I will create an animation of natural ventilation in the end of the process. I'm using Procreate. So Procreate is a software that I'm using here. And I think that color is too dark. I will make that a little lighter. So I need to go to the correct layer to make that. Okay. And I will repaint that into a lighter color. I think that will be better. Then I will paint that part here as well. Okay. All right. Okay, now we have this. I will that part actually is kind of dark, but I will bring a a new layer here just to make sure that I'm not going to do anything wrong. So I will bring a, a kind of a yellow color here. 
and to this part here. Maybe I could bring that into yellow as well. Let's see how it's going to be. I don't want to make that too colorful. But let's see how it's going to be. Yeah, I think it's fine. So we can bring that as well here. I think I need to bring uh, more shadows. Shadows is the thing to, to make these drawings look beautiful. So I will try to, to bring some shadows here. Okay, yeah. Something like it. Here we have shadows as well. We just correct this. Then, then that this part here will be maybe we could call this a, this as a dark area as well, and not do this. So the entire thing will be shaded here. I think it will will bring this drawing at something more three D like. I think that will be better. Okay, so here we have, we could bring a little dark here as well. Those things makes a difference when we are talking about shadows. All right, so I think this is it related to shadows. I could bring the shadow of the person as well, right? The person's shadow here, something like this way. Okay. So it gets uh, a shadow idea. Maybe I could just paint that part here as white as well, this middle part here. Because it's the it's the board, right? The teacher is, is teaching, so I just want to bring that white or something like it. Yeah. I don't want people to, to think that this is a, I don't want to, yeah, maybe people can think that this is a window and I, I don't want them to, to think something like this. So I will bring that as a green. Maybe green will be nice. Here we can see, crazy, right? I'm bringing this. Maybe I could just bring this a, something like it, yeah. I don't like too many colors. It's going to be better this way. Okay, so now I can I can just detail this with some. Since I'm using some, I will detail with some. Um, let's say I will use this uh, stone filling here, clay and stone filling in this part. So I will just uh, create these stones patterns. This is kind of annoying to, to, to be drawing, but it's necessary. And usually better this way, something like this. I'm not too good in, in drawing stones actually, so. And I'm kind of lazy to draw so many, so we'll du duplicate this and I will add this. One thing that I usually do, guys, is I will rotate that. So rotating, you you won't feel that I had I have copied those things here, right? So this is I don't know why the resolution seems worse, but yeah, it's nice. So I can bring some others here. And then maybe I could just, I could just um, copy this again and drag this again. But now I will create a, I will flip, right? So this flipping will create another effect. So it doesn't seem that this is the same drawing effect 
then I can just add some more and now it's going to appear something more like yeah so that's it I think this is a maybe I could decrease the opacity I think this is too you know I don't want to enhance the importance of that so I will just keep it 70% the opacity of that 70 is here as well and here 70 percent as well I don't want to bring too much yeah I think that that will be better and then I could just drag uh, some of this as well oh, I'm sorry and I will drag this part here to this direction and scale this so you will see this drawn on our Instagram and YouTube channel in the future and here I will bring some others you can see that I'm too lazy to to draw <laughs> right so just flipping this again so it doesn't seem that I have copied then I will just erase that okay and I will just copy again and add here so I will add this part here and then I will erase this again just erasing and erasing and erasing okay now we have the entire structure and now we'll do something important here so now we have the entire drawing now I want to detail some things before I drag this into animations so I will start bringing information but I don't want to bring all informations here because yeah I will need to write that in Portuguese as well. I could just write here in English, just, uh, you know, draw some arrows and do this here, right? I could just drag and say, okay, this is this, this is that, and this is that, and this is that, and, you know, I could just bring this way. But I won't do this because since I need, I need to do, do this in two languages, I will bring that into my DaVinci Resolve later. And on the, the, the editor, I will add the, the arrows and the languages. Okay, so I won't write things here. Actually, my, my, my lettering is pretty bad, so I prefer to, to add tasks like this. So you can say shading device, right? But, I, but I, I won't do here, just on the video editor, okay? So here is the drawing, and what I want to do now, I will just remove the, the background, and I will just erase this. Sometimes I keep this dot, you know, this small dot here, it, because the drawing becomes more humanized. And I like human drawings. So here is what where, where I found this. So I just need to erase this. Here is the layer where it belongs. And now I need to discover this one here as well. So. Here is the layer where it belongs. Okay, so I just remove that, and then I will export the, the entire drawing. Okay, so I will just uh, go to share, and I will export in PNG. Then I have the the PNG with transparency, and then I will use a software here called Loom. Okay, this is the software when I create some animations. It's easier to create. I can create animations in Procreate as well, but I need to export lots of PNGs, images, and I'm using a software called Loom. So here you can see, for example, this one that I draw, right? So I bring the, the image and then I can create an animation. So, okay, I have an image. I will add my 
drawing now so I have this right in this way here but I want to keep this as white so white once again and then I will create an animation about the ventilations right so I can create an animation with uh, related to the Sun and I can create an animation related to the ventilation as well right so let's say that I will create I will get a blue color and I, I can add these two amazing effects that his drone will have and let's say that I will have the ventilation this way here and then I will add another frame and I want to see the, the, the frame so the previous frame and then I will start creating this effect I think it needs to become stronger right and so you can see here right I will create this effect and then the other let's keep going with the other and then the other and then the other I will be uh, have this as a darker color as well. I don't. I'm not liking this. I need to bring a color that stands out and actually has a, some harmonics with the drawing. Right. I'm trying to bring that, but it's kind of hard. I think I will create the entire thing. Then I do that later okay so I almost out of my animations um, here so I have 12 right frames I will add some others I think 20 or something will, will work let's see the last one so this is the last one right so I will go to the other one Add this other one and other one and other one. I really like when we really have this entire thing going in and out. So I will just go back and add some other here. Also, here is the first framing. So let's see how it's moving. What do you think? I think it's showing the effect, right? I think it's showing the effect. Now I want to add the same thing above. So I can create the same pattern here above. So we'll just bring that once again. And I need to move parallel. I want to move parallelly with the the thing right the, the the same movement I want to bring that it doesn't need to be perfect those arrows because with the movement it becomes something more alive I enjoy this you know this is not a perfect arrow in my opinion but it's nice it doesn't need to be perfect okay now we keep going it's important to keep the previous movement right the same not to do something like this and then the next one like this it's important to keep the same try to create some movement keeping the previous frames right we, you can see that we the software keeps the previous frames for us to use that and create more movement on, on that Maybe the ventilation could be on the other direction as well, right? Uh, I don't think this is the best. Uh, I think the, the ventilation will be better in that direction because here we have a bigger gap and here is smaller, but I don't really know the orientations of this, this project. So I will just bring this way to show the concept and people will understand this. 
when we are thinking about these drawings, I try to, to bring the, the most precise idea related to sustainable design, but since this, is, this drawing is attached to the other ones, it will be harder for us to, to show this. Okay, so now we have this. And now I can describe also in the same, I, I like to bring the same number of animations the idea related to the the sun right so i will add the a yellow layer here and i will add this sun so sun will start and this is the let's say the the hardest thing that i need to do here because i need to to bring the the entire idea with these arrows right so the same number of Actually, it doesn't need to, to, to be the same number. I could do in different, in different, um, yeah, maybe I could do this a little different. Let me just bring a, I will bring a sun here. I think sun, the sun is important. What do you think, guys? Do you believe the sun is important? Tell me the chat, please. The sun is not important. Yeah, the sun is important. So, okay, now we have a sun. The sun, this sun will be fixed. So I will re remove all this, all these framings here. Just one second. So I will remove the all those frames. I could remove, or I could I could do just a. Yeah, now we have the sun as something that is going to be there. Right, so now I can, I will reduce this, this frames as well here. I used 18 frames is nice. So a frame without anything, let's see the movement. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so I can go back and use the sun again here. So at the beginning of my drawing, we'll have an arrow of the sun and the sun rays will collide with the building and of course the building will remove this so what is the idea sun will go here and will not go here directly and you know increase the heat on the building so that's the main concept of that so we will bring this idea and of course we will need to write that to make that clear for everyone so everyone can really understand what this is about okay remember guys this is not my design this is francis carey's design right fantastic architect got a pritzker's prize some years ago one year or two years ago we were talking about his work before before it Okay, so our favorite band was uh, was we discovered this our favorite band before it became famous. <laughs> so I think this is it. Let's see. Okay, I just messed up here with with this. Right, I wanted to explain for you guys, so I need to erase that. So I just need to bring the eraser. And here we have, maybe I could just bring another here. And I think this is nice because, because this is not going to, to be, you know, uh, this in the same, it will be more alive in the drawing because so for example, the movement is not going to be the same, we will have a different rotation now. So every time the rotation will be different. Okay. So this is the idea. Okay, uh, this is the, the thing. Here we can see. The animation completely done. 
So what I'm going to do now, so I have this entire drawing, it's ready, right? We can just export this. We can just export this. It's, uh, we have a comment here in the chat that is amazing, right? We should build beautiful buildings, not modern architecture. Yeah, so you are not just, you're just talking about beautiful, okay. It's your opinion. It's, uh, I can't, you know, I can't discuss with you. I can't, I just can't. All right, so keep with this, this fascist ideas related to architecture. Okay, so here I have the animation. Now I will just uh, create this as big as I can. I have this as a movement of one. And I will just export this. So I will record a video. It's being recorded, 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 recorded. And then I will, oh, it wasn't recording. Okay, now it will. So I'm recording here. Let's see if it has recorded. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. It No, it didn't. It's not recording. I don't know why. Let me see. Since we have we don't have this as a something precise, I don't want to to cut so that's why I'm recording more time on that it's not recording I don't know why maybe because I'm sharing the screen so yeah so I think this is it guys this is the drawing, so I will merge this with this another one, right, this other one here. And we will have something that, that will be two drawings mixed it, and then I will share this in our Instagram, okay? So thank you guys for joining. It's nice to have everyone here with me, and let's keep going with new videos. So I will be sharing more of this in the future, okay? Thank you so much, and have a great day, everyone.